As there is specified in the Darwin API docs, the granted access token expires in around an hour. For that reason, and to support fully automated workflows regarding using the Darwin APIs, I implemented functionality in the DarwinX APIs package to handle authentication. Basically, on one hand, you can find the creators that will be executed each time I call an API endpoint. If the access token has expired, I will request a new one. However, in the Mendel framework setup, some more lateral thinking was needed to accomplish full production automation. For that matter, there is a component called the D refresher. The D refresher is a Docker service that will be called each 30 minutes in the actual implementation. You could be thinking about why I need to keep requesting a new access token even before the expiry time reaches. Apart from that, there is no technical problem on executing the script every 30 minutes, but the idea is simple. If, if at any time Darwin X changes the expiry of the access token or the refresh token to enhance security or other related matter, I need to have a robust way in which I can get the access token whenever I want repeatedly so that I don't need to manually interact with the application. The DoRefresher will request a new access token each 30 minutes based on the refresh token. To do that, I firstly need to load the previous JSON file with the access token. For this to work out, the first time I run the DS strategy, I will need to request the access token manually via the website, but then it will function fully automatically. Once that it has the new token, it will save it in a file called API Credentials JSON, and the Docker container will stop working and remove all its internal data. So that the DS strategy components can access the new generated token, I need to bind to bind a volume so that it's the D refresh service, so that the data I generate inside the Docker container persists in the host. As I stated above, then the DS strategy service will pick up that new token for the file persisted in the host and execute normally without the need of manual token input. I hope that you have liked this original component, the DRefresher. It will permit you run fully algorithmic within the Darwin APIs. See you in the next video in which I will talk about how I dockerize the framework.